As Windows capabilities have increased, users have responded by working with an increasing number of simultaneous open windows. The more open windows there are, the more difficult it becomes to size, position, and switch between the windows effectively. In addition, monitors are improving rapidly. Many computers now have high-resolution displays, or multiple displays, which encourages having even more windows open. Today, one of the primary techniques for window management is the taskbar. In its default mode, the taskbar sits horizontally across the bottom of the screen and provides tiles that correspond to open desktop windows. However, the taskbar interface is easily overwhelmed by this number of open windows. As the number of windows increases, the tile widths are reduced until only a small portion of the window name is visible. In many cases, this makes it difficult to locate the desired window. The group bar prototype provides the ability to reorder the tiles by dragging. This spatial organization makes it easier to locate the desired tile. The taskbar has a feature that groups similar tiles together. However, the groups are organized by application, having to locate a particular document first by remembering the application that was viewing it and then by its document title can be very time consuming. The group bar allows the user to create groups of related items by dragging and dropping tiles. Not only does grouping help the user locate related windows, but it can be used to provide powerful window management tools. Groups of windows can be minimized and restored as one unit. Switching between groups can be done with a single click. By automatically minimizing any windows not in the group, the screen clutter is reduced without having to individually manage each window. In addition to switching, the group bar is able to provide layout templates for the items in the group. The template sizes and positions the group's windows to fill the screen area while still respecting the boundaries between monitors. Although the automatic templates are useful, most users find that they have very specific size and position preferences for their windows. Another prototype, the layout bar, allows this configuration to be captured and then restored at a later time. This is particularly effective for switching between several frequently used arrangements. In our final prototype, the project bar, we allow the user to tag a persistent group with a name. With persistent project and layout information, it becomes easy to keep a rich history of the user's workspace and to use that history to aid in recall or even to reconstruct past desktop states. We are studying how these prototypes benefit users in managing their ongoing tasks.